Where we last left off, cooking gecko meat. Now that we're done, let's go back to Good Springs. Now, I could have walked, but I get out the middleman. And this isn't Good Springs. There we go. Alrighty. Back to Prospector's store. Let's go talk to the lady that we're supposed to. Supposed to talk to the bartender. I can only assume I'm there's a done bartender. Here nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. What the Yo. hell? What do you want? What was that? Uh, what was that you said about Ringo? What's going on with? What's been going on in the rest of the wasteland? Same old shit that's been going on for years. The NCR and Legion are still fighting over Hoover Dam for some reason. Uh, let's see, do you know anything about the Hoover Dam? Never been there since the NCR's got troops all over it. Must be pretty important. Uh, what do you know about the Legion? I've run with some tough gangs, but I gotta admit, they all got nothing on the Legion. I hear they stick you up on poles and it takes a while to die. Huh. I ain't saying I'm afraid of them or nothing. But I'll be staying out of their way. Looks like you're a gangster. Tell me about the NCR. New California Republic. Nothing new about it. Just a bunch of people with money and power pushing everyone else around. They've got troops all over the Mojave. But it's a big desert. So it's pretty easy to avoid them if you want. So, what was that you said about Ringo? He's some trader who decided he'd rather shoot than pay the toll for being in our territory. He's hiding somewhere in town. What do you mean, so told these here? idiots right if me and my guys shot the place up after we got payback on Ringo. Uh, let's say I help you take over this town? No. This area is your territory? It is now. Me and the rest of the guys busted out of the NCR prison east of here and took over. Now we're calling the shots. Not if I could say anything about it. What were you in prison for? None of your damn business. You ought to know better than to ask a man that kind of question. I just need to know if I should watch my step around you. Rob some people, burn some things, killed a few guys. <laughs> well, I'm not helping you. Yeah. Wait, no, let me talk to you. Okay. Dang it. So, you are just a settler. What about you, Trudy? Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Ah, show me what you have to uh, I overheard your argument. What was that all about? Looks like our little town got itself dragged in the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this trader, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Well, uh, what are you going to do? If on that cop wasn't able to find Ringo, the town's not that big. Why not just kill Cobb and be done with it? No, uh, never mind it. Uh, where's Ringo now? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Uh, what are you going to do? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Powder gangers? Chang gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. Hmm. Well, never mind, I want to talk about something else. All right. Yeah, well... What happens if I help Ringo? If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Well, it's of course, helping nice Ringo would also make the powder gangers mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there. I ain't afraid of no gangsters. So if I help Ringo, and Good Springs will like me more. What if I help the powder gangers? Nope. Uh, who was that man you were arguing with? He's a convict, just without the chains. Said his name was Cobb. Powder gangers is what they call themselves. Plenty more like him out there. Hmm. 
trying to town. I'm trying to track down the people who attacked me. Know anything about them? Not much, other than they're a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working since. Um, did my attackers say where they were going? They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. Sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. Uh, why is that? That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. So, where were they headed? I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15. He'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Gotcha. Want me to take a look at your broken radio? Sure. The outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world, and that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. I see. Does Gush Rings get many visitors? Mostly traders looking to buy bighorn or meat and hides. The traders are the main reason the general store manages to stay in business. Most travelers heading south on the I-15 just push on towards Prim, unless they're in desperate need of supplies. Huh. Actually, let me show you what got I got. Got a special discount for you, after what you've done for us. Oh, wait, well, thank you. Get my mis mis miscellaneous. All right. Every day. Yeah, I'm not gonna sing that. Uh, let's see. Do you have what's this? Oh, speech. Do you have any stim packs? I guess no. Yeah. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Do you know about the robot that rescued me? I know that thing as much as anyone else around here. It mostly keeps to itself, which is just fine by me. Uh, what does it actually do around here? Other than rolling around once in a while, it doesn't do anything useful as far as I can tell. I don't know why it took an interest in you, but I'd be careful. It's never helped anyone before. Uh, you don't like him? It acts friendly enough, but I don't trust that whole cheerful cowboy act. I find it all very creepy. Hmm, I'll keep that noted. How long has he been in Good Springs? It was here when I took over the saloon seven years ago. Some people have said its owner lived here, but no one knows who it was. Never mind, let's talk about something else. Fine by me. Uh, anything interesting going on in the rest of the wasteland? There's always something interesting going on. But the biggest news has to be the coming dust-up between the NCR and the Legion over the dam. I see. So, why do, both, why do you think both the, Le the NCR and the Legion both want the dam? I'm pretty sure the NCR wants to hold on to the dam because it's one of the few places around that can make electricity. The Legion are a bunch of savages, though. No idea why they'd want the dam. Probably plan on destroying it or something. I see. Well, what can you tell me about the Legion? Slavers, killers, and all other kinds of trouble. They dress up like Roman soldiers, so there's no mistake in it when you see them. The rumor is, is that the Legion is far larger than the NCR lets on, and that it's been due to luck that the Legion hasn't overrun the territory. Well, tell me about the NCR. The New California Republic's got the most power in Nevada. Money, troops, you name it. They do what they can to keep things safe in the region. But if you ask me, they're trying to do too much. They're spread too thin. Well, yeah, just like with Mr. R Silverman. Be careful out there. I will. Let's see, let's uh, get out of here. So we already had a nice chat with Miss Trudy. Let me see what I can... What do I have? I offered to help Ringo deal with the powder gangers, I guess. So, I think they set up in the old warehouse. That's where we're gonna be able to find Ringo. Yo! Jen Hale. Oh my god. It's. You're alive! After all these years, you haven't aged a day. Uh, thanks. Who are you? You don't remember me? You're Jen. No, I'm sorry. I was shot in the head and I don't remember anything. Did I know you? Oh. You're the body Victor pulled out of that grave. They must have shot you and buried you alive. That's not so surprising. You've always had a bad habit of getting caught by the bad guys and thrown into the dirt. Don't you remember anything? 
Your name? Your life before the grave? Not even me? Uh, did you see any of the guys that shot me? What is your name? Uh, I don't know. I remember yesterday and the week before, but I'm sorry. Were we close? We were. 20 years ago. Before you disappeared. I was your friend. We grew up together in Vault 18. We never really talked much as kids. Not before the night Colonel Bragg betrayed us and destroyed our home. After that, we traveled for a while before you got sucked into the war between the NCR and the Raiders of San Bernardino. The last I remember seeing you, you were leaving Fort Daggerpoint, covered head to toe in blood and ashes. A lot of people died that day. A lot of people. I think something died in you too. You left. We never saw you again. And you don't remember any of it? I mean, did they take care of you at least? Uh, what did they do for the NCR? You were never officially part of the NCR. Not from what I heard. General Silverman hired you as a private contractor and blackmailed us into doing his dirty work. This Sounds about right. before the NCR kicked into overdrive and their military began conquering the Mojave. Back then, Silverman's hands were tied, fighting the last of the Enclave and the Raiders. He needed someone outside the law. I guess he figured a bunch of vault dwellers was his ticket to do what he wanted without Congress stepping in to stop him. After that, I don't know what happened to you. We've heard rumors. Stories about an unkillable courier. We heard you did some pretty bad things while trying to do good. I guess you'll never know, unless you can remember. What happened at Fort Daggerpoint? A war? The NCR doesn't call it that. They call it a police action. But it was a war, plain and simple. The raiders of San Bernardino were a major threat, and the NCR's hands were tied in dealing with them by the new Reno mob. The corrupt NCR Congress couldn't fight them, and the mob used the raiders to raise money from slave labor mining gold and uranium. But that didn't last. When Colonel Bragg of the Enclave destroyed our home, the raider tribes betrayed them. They used the vertebrates and weapons of the Enclave against the NCR and triggered an unwinnable war. The Enclave had been using Fort Daggerpoint to experiment on super mutants, trying to create a perfect guerrilla army. They took your parents. They turned them into breeding stock and used them to... To create you. You I were see. a mutant. Or from what I'm told, you had a mutant organ inside you that heals your injuries and cleans your blood of radiation. But that's when you came into your own. With Vault 18 destroyed, I guess the stress triggered your body to start reacting. You became unstoppable, like a human tank. You led an army through the fort and killed Bragg and his troops. The NCR changed after that. So did the Raiders. They left California and were forced to join the Legion, which made them unstoppable. They turned on the NCR, and now we're here. Man, so I guess a lot of backstory happened. I guess she's kind of just clearing me up on what we just did. Uh, did you see any of the guys that shot me? No, I didn't. I'm sorry. But if you want me to help you find them, I'll come with you. If you don't mind the company. No, I'd like to go with you. Uh, I'm not sure. I want to go exploring the wastes, get a handle on who did this. I'll be back, or... No, of course not. You can act as my brain. Remember everything I can't. <laughs> well, you always did need some help in that department. Come on, let's get going. Just like old times. Haha! <laughs> so we finally got Jen as a companion. Let's see, do you have anything to talk hey about? Hey there. Uh, I should know we can. Let's go back and take a break for a bit. Can you do something for me? Sure, no problem. Pit boy light on. I need you to wait for me at home base. Set this location as your home base. Never mind. Salt, thanks. Later. What are you carrying? Okay. Take anything I have. Stealth armor, huh? Well, at least we got her now. So we got our first companion. Cool, we got Jen. Let's see. So now we gotta go in here. I assume. Sudden energy. It's got anything. Cool. We're ranking up like we did before. Uh, no. That's close enough. Who are you, and what do you want with me? I'm not an enemy, if that's what you're asking. Uh, I'm just having a good look around, or if you're going to shoot, you better not miss, sir. Yeah, I'm not an enemy. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. What say we start over with a friendly game of caravan? You know how to play? Uh, no. 
Can you tell me anything about Good Springs? What a little caravan. What do you do around here? Did you know there's a man named Joe Cobb looking for you? Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. Uh, what are you gonna do about the powder gangers? Or why are the powder gangers out to get you? My caravan was on the return trip from California, and heading back to the company branch in New Vegas when we got jumped. Not even a drop your weapons and hands up before the bullets started flying. We put up a good fight, but there was too many of them. I took a few of the bandits down before I ran, so I figure their friends are out for revenge. Dang. What are you gonna do about the powder gangers? I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. Maybe I can help. We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board... Um, I'll ask around and see who I can round up. Or you don't think I can handle myself in a fight? I was thinking of myself, actually. Who's gonna watch my back while I'm watching yours? Oh, well, if you insist. Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. Gotcha. But before I do that, I'm gonna see what they have. See, they have turpentine. Don't need that. Oh, no. There's an empty box. No. Let's see, whiskey. I guess. No, no, coffee mug. What's this? A large whiskey bottle. No. Empty. Nope. Wait, what's all this stuff on the ground? There's flour. Raxoplina. Milk bottle. No, I guess there's nothing else. All right, what about the sack? You could call it. Cool. Great, we're ranking up. Getting all the things that we need. I think I want to sleep till daytime. I just want to make sure that it's daytime. If I still got all the same perks that I do before... Actually, I'm going to check if I have the same perks. Because if I have that healing perk I get from the daytime, then I want to make sure that it's always daytime when I'm outside. Alrighty, anything else I can take? Some scented sarsaparilla. And create more scented sarsaparilla. Crunchy meat for dirty water squirrel stew. Dang. They have a lot of sunset sarsaparilla. I guess this was like a sarsaparilla place. Wait, let's see. Can I? Nope. There's yeah. Pick the maze. Wait, nope. Wait, come on, come on, come on. There. Let me just angle it. There we go. What about the register? And some bottle caps. Cool. Wait, did I open the sack? Yes, I did. Okay, let's go out. So let us continue onwards. I wonder if I'll spawn... Actually, you know what? I won't take the easy way out. I will walk. I will take the long way all the way over to the saloon. Let me check down here. Is there any... Yeah, buffalo gourd. Alright, now we got the buffalo gourd scene. This is the general store, and there is this. Okay. Hey, where are they? I do I have that quest act? Ghost Town Gunfire. Okay, so if it's active then I should be able to find them. They're around here somewhere. Is that you or are you just some random settler? Well how you doing, Easy Pete? Howdy. Uh what do you know about Joe Cobb? Bad trouble. That's helpful. Welcome. Okay. You. Let's see. Let me talk to Sunny Smiles. Morning. How you doing, Trudy? How you doing, Sunny Hi. Smiles? Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? I'm going to help Ringo take on Powder Gangers. I might need your help. Say no more. I'm in. That was quick. Um, I'm glad I didn't need a speech checker. Actually, my speech is 100, so I should be good. Just like that, we might die horribly. Well, maybe not me. Yeah, because I'm apparently some mutant. Um, just like that. Just like that. I have a feeling that I'm going to end up fighting those guys one way or another. So I might as well get it over with. 
Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo, but I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. Yeah. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Gotcha. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. Uh, any idea in how to convince Tree how to join us? A silver tongue would help. Convincing Trudy that we had a good plan to win the fight would also help. Uh, would Chet be willing to give us his supplies? Even give is in Chet's vocabulary. Even with the town at stake, he'd still make you barter with him. <laughs> My barter sucks. Okay, how can I get Easy Pete's dynamite? Easy Pete's pretty protective of his dynamite. You'd have to convince him you know a thing or two about explosives before you handed it over. And I guess she's not going to give I'll me a waiting. thing to... Yeah, not a magazine to help me with that. Yo, Trudy, yo, Trudy. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. <clears throat> Sneak, eh. I could probably take out the powder gang by surprise if I had help, probably. So yeah, I need to probably bring up my sneak. Uh, you should help me take... <clears throat> You should help me take down the powder gang. Bullets, explosion, lots of fun. I was planning on sitting this one out, but for some reason, I can't help but like you. I'm with you. Thank Let me you. have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. The general store probably has what we need in stock. I thank you, and I got be a careful part. out there. Oh wait, no. Let me sell you some stuff. Feeling thirsty? Well, you're yourself. What do you have for sale? Nope, nope. Uh, okay, so I won't be taking dirty water. Uh, oh yeah, I don't really, I'm like, I don't really need that either. And I'll accept that. And I got the 20 caps that I need. Thanks. Gotcha. No problem. Yeah. Alrighty, let's go, Jen. Now that we add this, is that Easy Pete or Random Settler? Easy Pete! Howdy. I hear you got dynamite. It would help us beat the Powder Gangers. Too dangerous. Gonna kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Better to leave it buried. Safer that way. <sighs> How hard can it be? Just light them up and throw. Too dangerous. Sorry. Blow yourself up. Blow your neighbor up. Blow the whole town up. Well, okay. Yep. So it looks like my explosions, my explosiveness is not good enough. Let's see. I think this is where Shet is. This is Ringo. So what's going on? Did Sonny agree to help us? Alright. Well, not yet. Try to hurt. Why are you out here, though? Shouldn't you be hiding? But okay. Yo. You must Shit. be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. Why, if you're you. hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. I see. I need supplies to fight the Powder Gangers. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the Powder Gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. I don't have a thousand cap. Or pay. Uh, let them take over the town. Then I'm sure your business will be much better off. You made your point. I can provide people with some leather armor and extra ammo. Sure hope it's worth it. And uh, I'll be guarding the store while all this is going on. I have to put my business first. You understand. Of course. Well, let's see what you got for sale. And do. Going under. Uh, let's see. Uh, no. Wait. So, the varmint rifle needs 5.56. There we go. Do you have any stim packs? Box and tape, lead pipe, shovel. Pre-war hat. 
Well, it helps me with perception. Oh, cool. And I do not have enough. Man. At least I got my straight Another razor. satisfied customer. Let's see. Take it easy. Let's see, is there a box full of that ammo he was talking about, or...? When under... I guess not. Okay, let's go. Wait, what about all this stuff down here? Yeah, I'm not gonna steal. I'm trying to be good here. Cause I'm going under. I'm going under. I'm going under. See, I can't, I don't have that country voice to match it. Uh, let's see. Oh wait, I gotta talk to Doc Mitchell. So the explosives guy, I mean, I think I can try to do it without the explosives. But I got it. Oh, uh, let's see, if I have leather armor... There's peril, okay. And it's... FNC followers teleporter. I guess I can't wear that. Cool, and I got some protection. Okay, following the arrow, this should be... Yep, Doc Mitchell's house. Yo, Doc Mitchell! Yo, yo Doc Mitchell. You around here, buddy? Yo! Welcome back. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. What can I do for you? Uh, the town is going to be attacked by bandits. Anything you can do to help? Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce. But I'll give you what I can spare. Some stem packs? Yes! Uh, they'll be using explosive. Do you have something more for serious industries? Well, I ain't got much, but it'll do you more good out there than it will in here. Take what I got. Ah, cool. You said before you had something taken from you. Well, ain't we all, right? That was a long time ago. I don't pay it much mind anymore. I see. You take care now. Thanks, Doc Mitchell. You're all right. Uh, kind of like when we went to um, Doc Isaac's place when we had to... Ah, uh... oh, man, but we opened Foot Locker. There's a knife. I guess it's not stealing if we're allowed to just take it. What's this? Take pre-war book, take pencil. So if we can take some of this stuff, let's see. And I could try selling it at the... Take that. Okay, whoa, wait. So I gotta angle it correctly. Okay. Take it, take it. Okay. Eh. Come on, come on. Okay, almost. I am dedicated. Okay. Okay, I thought it was here. Yep. I really need to pay attention. Let's see. There's medics I can take. Bring over here. There's clipboard, nickel, this, this, hot plate, Ooh, hot plate, activate chemistry set, uh, create some stim packs, uh, yo, oh man, I should have, oh, I should have seen what else I can make, oh well, okay, open census aspirilla crate. Wait, no, I want to take all of it. Let's see. To activate broken landy. Okay, repair. I want to repair it. Oh, cool. So now I actually have a gun worth using. This is Obstasmilloscope. Today's physician. Reading glasses. There's a pencil, another pencil, another pencil. Ashtray, a paperweight. Okay. I guess there's nothing left. Okay, what about here? 
Oh, cool. This is stuff I can actually use. What about this gun case? Drained energy cell. I need some energy cells. Cool. And a laser pistol. So these actually got stuff that's useful. Actually, I can at least sell them. I'll sell what I can. A medical brace. Okay. Oh, hey. Pre war hat, too. If that's the case. Green glasses. I guess that you can show that's how I've aged. I'm wearing glasses now. See? See, Jen. Jen. You can tell we've aged because you're wearing a stealth suit and I'm wearing glasses. It's my new character. Alright, let's see. <clears throat> a pre war book, another pre war book. If it's scorched, I doubt it'll be worth anything, but you never know. Oh, wait, wait, what's this? I take a bottle cap, some of these bottle caps? Cool. So I guess his place is free for looting if it's not a big deal. Some the rat away. And what's in here? Cool. Some rat X. Um, take some cram, pork and beans, sugar bombs. Cool. Um, oh wow, pencils. Uh, uh, I guess you can literally go around his place taking whatever you need. I mean, I guess it's just because, like, it's the beginning, you can take what you need because it's like... Like, what about the bur room? No, not the bur room. We cannot take the bur room. Alright, what about the oven? A pilot light, some more food, a pressure cooker. I'm surprised I can still walk. Huh. But I can't take this. How much more can I carry? Huh, I can only carry a bit more. Can you take the chairs? No, you can't take the chairs. Wait, what about in here? Okay, a box of detergent, a braxo cleaner. I wonder, so, even through all the books, he doesn't really carry anything that is useful to, like, I think, oh, useful to, like, help you with explosions. Well, I could take that, but I can't take this. Ugh, you can drink from these places. I forget that that's, like, one of the grossest things you can do. Alright, do you have anything that can help me with... Let's see, nope, 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 nope. I guess not. But she should have some explosive books. Oh, relax where? Small scorched book. Curtain of cigarettes. Cool. Uh, ooh, a globe. No, I can't take that. Anything on this chair? No. Yeah, I know you're, you're... I mean, I mean, I'm allowed to, right? I mean, I, I hope you're not. Too pissed off. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Doc Mitchell. You're you're a pretty swell dude. I do say so myself. Uh, let's see. Open footlocker. A leather belt. Let's see. Take a pre-war book. Take a uh, pencil. All this stuff right here. Nope. Ooh, a vase. A moss. No, I can't take that. Take this paperweight. What else can I take? Large pre-war book. Okay, we've spent enough time in here. Ooh, a camera. I will take that. So we've spent enough time in here. We've spent enough time just going through all this stuff. Ooh, a hammer. And a crutch. Cool. So, yeah, like I said, we spent enough time in here. Let me go to the general store and then see if I can talk to Easy Pete. Let's see, is there anything else in here? Can I get more buffalo seed? No. Wait, what is this? Huh, it's just part of the game. Actually... Oh yeah, it is part of the game. Okay. Wait a second. Okay, first I'll sell it to her, then I'll try talking to Easy Pete. Yo. Hello. Yellow. Feeling thirsty? I can take care of that. Actually, I want to sell you some stuff. No, um... Uh, 
Don't need that. Don't need any of this dirty water that's gonna hurt me. Huh. So yeah, take take this, all these, all of it. Huh, I have a lot of this stuff. And a bunch of pre-war books. Yes, take all those cases. Actually, you know what? Not the cases. Take these carton of cigarettes. Take this camera. The box of detergent. Braxa cleaner. No, not the bobby pins. Let's see. Finally. Accept. Thank you. It's pleasure doing I business wanted. with you. Be it was my the pleasure was all mine, to be honest. Thank you. Okay, we're almost ready. Yep. Oh. Should I do one evil thing and actually you know what? No. I'm gonna be clean. How do I raise up my explosives? Do I need to read a book or what? Let's see, let me just go back to quests to make sure I'm doing everything correctly. Ah, I guess it's just optional. I guess we just gotta talk to Ringo now. So yeah, Easy P won't be talking to us, we just gotta go talk to Ringo. Alrighty, Ringo. Let's see what we're up against. Da -dun -da -dun. Actually, before we go talk to Ringo, now that I have this like 9mm submachine gun thing, I might as well get some bullets for it. What's in the dumpster? A hammer that I can sell. Mojave Express. There's a crate that it would be stealing if I opened. Hey there. Yo, shit. You looking to buy some supplies? I'm looking to sell. Can do. Of course you can buy the stuff that I'm going to sell. Buy this hammer for the two caps. And now, uh, right, so, which weapons do I have? Make sure. So I need 9mm rounds. Thank you. And a laser pistol. I need energy cells. Do you have energy cells? Let's see. A, C, D, E. Uh, e okay, energy cells. There we go. Go. And a varmin rifle. Did you acquire any more on the off chance that we were gone and came back? Oh, he also sells super simpacks. A night scope. That's long range night scope. I. Maybe. Dang it. I guess not. I guess I'll accept. Thanks. Take it. The pleasure's all mine. All right, buddy. Let's go talk to Ringo. Let's get this over with. We're gonna have to defend this city against all these powder gingers. These criminals, I guess. So. I guess we gotta do the right thing. Because, I guess, previously we did do the right thing. I mean, I guess, in my opinion, like, we went through, like, the good ending. We, I guess, in my opinion, like, we made, like, good choices. Aside from, like, I think, uh, getting, uh, Elves Dragon's daughter, I think, overall, aside from that part, we made good choices. So what's going on? Did Sonny agree to help us? Sonny's with us. Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Uh, let's see. Return to Ringo when you're ready to... F okay. Uh, stay here. Alright. Let me just save, just in case something happens. Some more? Alrighty, let's What's do the this. Plan? Are we ready? Of course, let's do this. Time to look alive. The powder gangers are here to play. How many are there? At least six. Joe Cobb included. They look pretty mean. I'm ready, let's go. I'll be set up near the store. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. Oh wait, Jen. Jen, 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 Jen. Uh you have your hunting revolver. Okay. Take anything I have. 
Um, I. You know what? I'll use my varmint rifle. Here, take. Take all my 9mm rounds. Does that mean you will use my. Never mind. Okay. Apparently, you take find. Take anything I have. I guess over the years you've learned to become stronger. Where do we go? In this direction. Okie dokie. So we just keep on going in this direction, or... Okay, I guess I gotta follow them. Is there another Buffalo Gort seed? No. Alright, guys. Guys, where do we go? There's Trudy. Keep an eye out. This isn't finished yet. I know. Show me what you got. Alrighty. Nope. Let me, let me just you. Let me get for your. I'm going for the head. Yo. Okay. Uh, see, going for the head, and I gained karma. Going for the head. Bada pow. Powder King is vilified for your overwhelming, for your overwhelming monstrous behavior. You have become uh, vilified by the community. Idolized. Renowned for your extensive supporting goodwill, you are idolized by the community. Oh, well that was very nice. Let's see, now let's see what you have. I can take that. I'll take your dynamite. I'll take your powder ganger, and then your varmint rifle. I owe you a huge favor for this. Here, these are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but I know they'll understand once I explain things. Didn't I hear you say something earlier about not being able to pay me now? Seems a little light for work. <laughs> no, I'm just gonna be like, you're welcome. I'll stick around for a bit longer, but I'll be gone in a few days. If you ever visit New Vegas, look me up at the Crimson Caravan camp. I will, Hello? will do. Right, let's see. Let's, to the victor go the spoils of war. Desperado cowboy hat. And I can get all this dynamite, too. Powder gang, simple outfit. Alrighty. I wonder if I can get sewers to make it to where I can... Oh, cool. Baseball bat. Alrighty. Is that all the bodies? That looks about it. Cool. Let me go back to the store and sell what I have. Do you have anything to say? I'm glad that business is over. I like it when Good Springs is nice and quiet. Me too. Let's see what you have for sale. You have 32 caps. Oh, let's see. Miscellaneous. Nope. Um, hmm. I could use some of this stuff, actually. Exit. First, let me see what I can repair. Um, can I repair this? Okay, so I have a powder gang. Wait, what can I repair this with? Oh, the pre-war hat. Not so. Uh, greeting glasses. Okay, so there's pre-war hat. That's one in perception. Which one looks cool? Let's see, this is the pre-war hat. And this... The Desperado cowboy hat. Ooh. I think this one looks cooler. And it also gains one per uh, for perception. I would use this. Maintain. Oh, well, I got a bunch of powder ganger. Simple outfits. Cool. Uh, FNC followers so far. I still don't know what this is. Pre-war baseball cap. Pre-war relaxed wear. 
What about this one? Huh, aw. Yo, Jen. Do you want to wear anything Ooh, that I, I carry? Aw, oh, you never change. Let's see. Mm. Actually, I guess so. I'll wear the leather armor right now. And I'll sell that. Okay. Take anything I have. I will. Thank you. What is in here? Yo, shit. That was a hell of a fight. Let's hope it doesn't bite us in the ass later on. Let's see. Uh, show me what have you. What you little, let me Andy. show me what you have for sale. There we go. Go to apparel. Uh, powder gang simple outfits. And that's it. Man, I thought I had the other one. Uh, okay. Okay. Well, that was worth the. Give me a shout if you need. Six Thanks. caps. Yeah. Yeah. I thought I had more, but I guess not. Pre-war baseball cap. I guess so. So we're idolized by this place. I guess there's nothing left. Hello Whoa. there. It's good to see a friendly face. I almost took you for a raider, I did. Name's Malcolm. Malcolm Holmes. Hi. I don't suppose you'd care to trade. I'm missing a few essentials and... Ah, oh, screw this. Lying just ain't in my nature. Are you gonna I'll fight me? I'll tell it to you straight. I've been following you for a good bit now. Uh, why were you following it me? It started off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. You didn't show any reaction to it, so I figured you didn't know what you'd gotten your hands on. Well, what's so special about these caps? There's an old wasteland legend that says somewhere out there is a fabulous treasure from before the war. Those caps with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are the key to that treasure. They're called Sunset Sarsaparilla Stars. I see. Where can I find more of these caps? All over the place. The easiest place to find them is unopened bottles of Sunset Sarsaparilla. You'd think they'd all have been picked clean by now, but somehow, new bottles keep appearing in the machines. Some say it's old Festus that does it, hoping someone will finally collect enough caps to earn the treasure. Other than bottles, you'll just have to scavenge. You can find caps in the unlikeliest of places, and blue star caps are no exception. Um, you mentioned something about Festus. Who's that? It's said that the treasure is guarded by a man named Festus, and he's the one who asked for the blue star caps. It's also said he's been around since the war, standing a lonely vigil, waiting for someone to come and take the treasure off his hands. That'll make him pretty damn old, but I've met a few people in my travels who claim they actually met him, and they weren't the lying type either. Uh, so you collect these caps too? Nah, I gave it up years ago. Too dangerous. And even if I did still collect them, I'd tell you the same. There's people out there so mad with the idea of treasure that they'll attack strangers just on the suspicion that they have some of those caps. Uh, what kind of treasure are we talking about? No one knows. Money, weapons, water. It is, or maybe was, something of value. And that's enough to get people motivated. Gotcha. Thanks for the info, but I'll be going now. No problem. If you do end up trying to collect more stars, watch out for a man named Alan Marks. He's killed several people for their stars already. Uh, thank you. Do you have anything else to say? Huh? You want to talk some more? I'd like to trade. Oh, that's right. Here, let me show you what I've got on hand. What do you have? Ooh, biker goggles. My slander water up it. Xander roots. I guess that's free. Uh, 308, 10 millimeter. I want the biker goggles. Oh, and the Wastelander Wanderer outfit brings me agility and endurance. Okay, I'll take that. Uh, the rounds... Actually, I think I'll pick it up on the bodies. That'll be all. That will be all. Excuse me? No, wait, no. Good apparel. Wasteland Wanderer outfit. There we go. I can save.
now that we made it here, any other quests we have that are due here, we are what we leave behind. Find your old gear. So, I guess I have to go all the way to Camp McCarran. Where's not, where's like, uh, Las, I was gonna say Las Vegas, but it's New Vegas in this game. Uh, no, wait, North Vegas Square. So this, there's a South Vegas Square. South Vegas, okay, so it's in the South Vegas, so this is, I guess, New Vegas. Okay, so we're all the way here in Bit Springs. Idolize, that's nice. And, uh, let's see. Inquire about uh, your delivery assignment with them. With the administrator of the Mojave Express in Prim. Cool. So I guess, uh, since that's pretty far, I guess we'll go on with the main storyline. Since it's kind of a blind walkthrough, I'm gonna be, yeah, like, doing what I think is best. And is that... Oh, that's also far. Which one is closer? There's camp... Uh, okay. There is... We are what we leave behind. Which is all the way over there. And there is... They went that way. Well, I think this also has to do with uh, you getting shot in the head, so I guess it's the main quest. So, all we have to do is head towards Prim, which is southeast. Alright, Jen. We did everything we could here. Now it's time to let these people live their lives. So, where is southeast? I was going the wrong way. Never mind. Alright, Jen. You know how it always get lost back in those days? Back in those, uh... Back in those New California bays? Well, <laughs> I'm also in here, too. Door to Good Springs home. Wait, let me make sure I have everything I need. Nothing. I couldn't sell these, huh? Oh yeah, I guess I can't really sell the stuff I get from New California if it's not a... If it's, if it like, um... It probably won't register in the system or something. We gotta follow, we gotta travel down the dusty old trail. I know New Vegas is known for, like, being very, like, having a giant open world. Oh, there you are. Yeah. See, we just, we get to explore this giant new landscape. Not like in New California. I mean, New California was large and all that stuff, don't get me wrong. I, oh, hey. More buffalo board. But now we have a new area to explore. And we get to do it with our companion. But I still want to see what I can wear. Um... Since you're wearing a black suit here. Okay. Take anything I have. I will. I will give you these biker goggles so that you can look more badass. Let's see. Oh, hey. I noticed I saw this. I think this is where we were hunting the geckos. Is there anything I can pick up? No, there is not. Wait. Is there? No, there is not. Never mind. Alrighty. Just gotta keep on traveling. Going down that dusty trail. Eventually, we'll reach the town of Quinn. I think that's where we're trying to make it to. Uh, yeah. That hopefully is the town of Prim. That or that. Oh, actually, the sign will tell me, so I don't even need to not like. So yeah, I just don't really need to do much thinking. I just got to look at the signs, and the signs will show me where I need to be. Alrighty, sign. Tell me where I'm at. To the left is Las Vegas. To the right is Prim. And up north is Jer John. John. Gene John. Alrighty, before I go towards Prim, let's check out this little shack. Maybe it's got some goodies we can take. Or else it's some uh Jean Sky Diving. Huh. I don't see John. And we can't read his story. Uh, um, blah, blah. Okay. Nothing in here. 
Wait, can I take this bag now? Okay, open this locker, locked with an average lock. Luckily! Wait, nope. Nope. Oh, oh, there we go. Ah, cool. So we got a ninth pistol. Round, bottle caps, boxing tape, cases, more, and leather armor. Empty, open this locker, and what do we got? Wasteland Wanderer outfit. So now we can repair. We can maintain our armor. Uh, Wasteland Wanderer outfit. Yeah, let's repair it. Cool beans. Anything else for us to scavenge? No. I guess that's it. Come on, Jen. Let's head over here to Prim. We should eventually reach Prim and... I mean, like, eventually. Let's see. I gotta see all this, like, messed up wasteland stuff. It's gotta make you glad you weren't, like, born those days. We were able to grow up in a vault. Which, I actually gotta say, when it comes to the storyline, like... I liked how they designed everything in New California, and I also thought it was a really nice touch that um, they were able to make it to where the same character that grew up in Vault 18 also ends up becoming the courier. You're gonna get and also, high, girl. who are these guys? Like that? Powder Ganger Camp West. But yeah, I kind of like how it's a prequel. Like it's pretty. Um, it was just really smart on their end what they did. Let's see. More money. Dynamite. Police baton. Let's see. Let's repair our weapons. Cool. We'll actually have a strong weapon. Uh, baseball bat, some boxing tape, some dynamite. Oh, cool. Let's see. Here we go, and here we go. Anything else to take? No. Wait, what's in here? Nope, this is just stuff. Okay, and we got radiation. Actually, I'm also surprised how, like, even as a mutant, we still, like, take radiation damage. Which, I guess that would make us too overpowered. Plus, if this, uh, if New California was meant to be a prequel, I guess you still should be able to take, uh, radiation damage. Let's see. Need buffalo gourd seeds? Cool. Nope. Let's see, we're almost at Prim. We should be able to reach there at some point. Oh, hey. Empty nuka bottle. Nope. And, yeah, so we're just taking a little bit of rad. Mm hmm. I don't see Prim anywhere. Oh, it's over here. Okay. We're almost at Prim. See? There's Los Angeles Nipton, and there's Prim that apparently means we gotta go there. Wait, what? What's going on? Who are you shooting at? Nice, Jen. Uh, Jen, Jen, who are you shooting at? Okay. Man, thanks, Jen. Just... Let's see what you shot at. Is that a bloatfly? Oh, you did. Oh, it was a rad roach. We need all the stuff we can get. If anything, we can at least... Oh, hey, look. And a gecko hunter. And another gecko. Yeah, we gotta sell all this stuff. I can't keep, like, packing up all the stuff that we carry. Uh, let's see. Or I can also have my companions hold on to it. That was the best part of having multiple companions. Was that, like, if you just... If you had too much stuff... You can just have your companions hold on to it, and it'll just, like, having an extra sack. Let's see. And the fact that they were always close to you meant, like, if you just needed it, you just, like, quickly go to talk to your companion, get it, and then just open up your menu and, like, take it. Let's see. Well, here we are at the town of Prim. <coughs> huh. So they talked about the roller coaster, which, I guess that's the roller coaster. I see that little roller coaster thingy. Yep, we have discovered Prim. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Prim is off limits. 
Hey, but I was part of the NCR for one point. Uh, what's going on in Prim? Some convicts from the prison up the road have taken over the town. Everyone inside is either dead or in hiding. What's more, there are two tribes of raiders causing trouble in this area as well. You'd be safer heading back up to Good Springs. <sighs> Shouldn't you be protecting this town or something? I can take care of myself. Uh, I don't want to be rude, but... Shouldn't you be protecting the town or something? We'd love to, but they don't fall under NCR jurisdiction. Even if they did, we're in no shape to protect them. Why can't you protect them? We don't have the equipment to take out the convicts. And even if we did, we need some extra hands for backup. You should talk to Lieutenant Hayes. He's in a tent down the road. Just stay on the west side of the overpass if you don't want to get shot. Well, okay. If he's just down on the road... Let's see. So there's a bunch of criminals in Prim. And I don't even know how we can get in there. Uh, I guess we'd take that road. I wonder if we can just go around. Let's see, he's in a tent or something. I wonder if it's in the local map we can check. Okay. So we head into this area. That's where it is, though. But he said west, so let's open the map. So he said at the canyon wreckage. Hmm. Let's just keep on going, see where we eventually will land. Cause we gotta find some place eventually. Excuse me. Alright. What's going on here? Hey, you said he's in a tent out west. I don't see no tent. Is it in my quests that uh, I can talk to him? Uh, inquire? No. Lie to me. Lie oh wait, no. I see that tent. Never mind. You didn't lie to me. That was my bad. All right, Jen. We gotta skedaddle through here and eventually find that tent. Step it up. Uh, going through here. Are you the same guy we spoke to, or? Whoa. Okay. NCR trooper. Patrol in the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. <laughs> I know that's not true. Because I don't want a nuclear winter. Okay, is this the tent, or... Nope. Where's the tent? There it is. Cool. So we've got a bunch of... I mean, the NCR is doing... is trying to do something. I mean, I can't really defend the NCR right now because of what they did to my character, but... I'm Sergeant McGee of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. If you want to talk about something, speak to Lieutenant Hayes. Where are you from? I'm from the Hub originally, but it's been a long time since I saw it. I'm on my second tour here. Most non-commissioned officers are. Uh, goodbye, yes. Sir. Oh, that was nice calling me, sir. Even though I have no official thing. Enter Lieutenant Hayes, tent. Hello? Okay. Lieutenant Hayes. I'm Lieutenant Hayes of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. What's your business? What are you doing here? We were sent out here to hold back the tide of convicts from the correctional facility. As you can probably tell, we aren't doing the kind of job we could be doing. Uh, what's your problem with your mission? The mission isn't a problem. The problem is with supplies. The convicts are better armed and organized than our intel initially suggested. I'm trying to get some reinforcements here, maybe some guns with some firepower, but shit. Things are just going slow. Can I go back to Good Springs and ask for help, or tell me about the correctional facility? Most people just call it NCRCF. That's NCR Correctional Facility. A little bit ago, the convicts there staged a coup. Killed the guards that weren't able to escape, and have been ransacking the area since then. Uh, do you have any information on the convicts? Not much. They've taken to calling themselves powder gangers, mostly because they've taken to using the explosives meant to clear boulders as weapons. I got see. them almost faster than I would have thought, most of them at least. Thankfully, the small group in town here seemed to have split off from the main force, so they aren't getting anything in the way of support. Well, I have some other questions. I have some free time. Ask away. Never mind, I don't have questions. Sir? So why don't I go and just destroy them? You lost? Yo, you good if I yeah. just go to... Okay. Alright, excuse me. I mean, what about this other tent? 
metal door to NC our tent. Never mind, there's nobody here, but we can also take a nap. Yeah, let's wait till the daytime. Again, we do our best fighting in the daytime. And that's when we need to fight. There we go. Almost in the daytime. There we go. So this is still technically prim, but I guess the outskirts are prim. What is it? Never mind. So you guys are just gonna let this place die? Well, not me. I'm gonna do something about it. Back in the days when I was a vault dweller, when I was in New California, we would do things. Like, go and get shit done. No! Dang it! Okay. I guess that's supposed to keep the powder gangers away, but all it really did was just kind of hurt me. Kind of counterproductive. Let's see, if we're just going to be running into an ambush and they're going to be up in the buildings, make sure I'm in good health. Don't you? Okay, oh, I do have some stim stim packs. gotcha. I don't see them anywhere, so I guess I'll just follow where I need to be. Our first enemy. Our first couple of enemies. Alright. Can we talk? No. I would like to talk to you. Escape convict. I guess I'll just have to shoot you in the head instead. Thank you, Jen. That was very nice. Alrighty, can I some dynamite work adventure? Let's see. Oh, I guess I gotta go in here. Make sure, I'm always saving before something happens. And if I gotta pick anything up, let's go to our payroll. Merc, uh, let's see, so this helps us either way. Merc veteran outfit. Well, well, that looks cool. But, I mean, I guess the whole point of this is, yeah, I'll just wear the leather armor since it helps me out the best. Do so I have the same of anything? Nope. I'll just sell them all later. Nope, nothing in this garbage can. I mean, some pre-war money. That should be worth something. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. Who are you? Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. Oh, you guys are the... I'm a curry with the Mojave Express. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. I lost a package I was supposed to deliver. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? Uh, what can you tell me about this job? Show the delivery oh. order. You're talking about one of them packages. That job had strange written all over it, but we couldn't turn down the caps. Uh, what was strange about it? That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. Parrot dice, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Last word I have in the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. First deadbeat we hired to do the job canceled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. Well, that's where you came in. You canceled? Yeah, got this look when he saw you next down on the courier list. His expression turned right around. Asked me if your name was for real. I said, sure as lack of rain, you were still kicking. Then he turned down the job, just like that. I asked if he was sure it was good money. No, let Courier 6 carry the package, that's what he said. Like the Mojave'd sort you out or something. 
Then he just up and walked out. Huh. Do you know who he was, where he went? No idea. Sounds like you two had a history for him to act like that and turn down the money, too. Hope he didn't see any trouble in that package of yours. Maybe he thought your name was bad luck. Not for me to say. Huh. Some men stole my package. A man in a checkered suit and some thugs. Did they pass this way? Well, now that you mention it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. One of those men shot me. I need to know the best way to get to... Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on them, and he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came to him. He may have heard where they were going. Okay, so I'd like to ask you about something else. I guess I don't have anywhere better to be. Uh, we're going to get information about the man that shot me. A Beagle had some notes he was taking while he was eavesdropping around the Potter gangsters. So He'll I need to go to the best source Beagle. of information on that subject. Gotcha. Uh, wait, I want to know about the delivery of sure, I'll tell you what. Never mind, apparently I know everything. Don't go getting yourself shot. Done. You come to the wrong place, traveler. Prince okay, died. can one guy be? If you got any sense, you'll be moving on. Like a stir and shake his knee. Like a fella once said, ain't that a kick in the head? Okay, so I follow Mark and I go into the Lucky Casino. Alright. I'm pretty sure a fight's gonna happen. Let's do this thing. Yep, I knew it. All right, guys. Come on. Okay, well, I'm just trying to get pretty pissed. Oh, thank you, Jen. Thank you. Let me search you. Yeah, I needed all this stuff. Why? Well, thank you. I don't need your fork. I will take your varmint rifle. Take that, 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 that. Ah, uh, I guess. Let me repair my varmint rifle. Over. Okay, make sure I can still have my clean space. Can't go through these doors. Oh wait, is my varmint rifle good though? Dang, okay. Let's see, I'm gonna use this, this, cool. So I just gotta head in this, this direction. Maintenance door. Almost. Um, there we go. Cool. Where's Jen? Jen, there you go. Okay, we're almost... I think we're almost there. Huh, nothing in the fire hose. Nothing in this garbage can. Yo! There we go. Just in the head, in the head, in the head. There we go. Yo! Whoa! Oh, and I'm supposed to help you. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are not. Uh, you must be Deputy Beagle, and I'm on fire. Oh, yes, I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. Um, I hear you may have information on some cons that came through here with a guy in a checkered suit. I'm still on fire. Indeed I do, good sir. And I would be thrilled to share that information with you as soon as I am released from captivity. Uh, you can tell me or you can run in here. Okay, I'll set you free now. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. What? If you try to run now, if you try to run away instead... Uh, he has been rescued from by Talk to him about protecting the town. Okay. If you try to run away instead of fighting at my side, I'll kill you myself. No, that's messed up. I didn't cut you loose so you could run away. Stick with me. Oh, that's so gracious of you to offer to bodyguard me like that. But I'd only slow you down. See you outside. No! Are you serious? Dude! Extricate him 
Okay, that's it. Quit trying to incinerate me. Well, at least I'm glad the fire guy died. Okay, come on. I like that helmet of yours. There we go. Oh, cool, I like this incinerator. I finally got my own incinerator. Flame of fuel. Ooh, goggles helmet. And some junk food. Got some leather armor so I can heal my leather armor. And some NCR money. Lucky day. Long fuel. No. Motorcycle. Tire iron. Don't need that. Ooh. Use some bottle caps and sunset sarsaparilla. Whoa, no, I'm taking all of these. Well, that's nice. At least I'm getting all the things that I needed. Let's see. Purified water, tire iron. Yeah. Oh, double jeopardy. I'm getting all of it. And you, last convict. Let's see. Guess I'll take one nap. Shouldn't hurt just to take one nap. There we go. Ooh, and we got it. We are gonna need some food. All right, take all the junk food and maze you can get. This one over here too. Energy resistance. Okay, might as well. I mean, we can at least sell these if we're not gonna drink them. So I don't really like uh, having a character that drinks. I'm not a big drinker myself, so since I'm, I don't really drink too much. I don't really like having a character that drinks. Unless the character needs to, like, if you're in a situation where, like, you're about to die and somehow magically drinking a bottle of alcohol will, like, save your life, then sure, I'm all for that. Oh, no, I'm not exploring this place. Ooh, Nuka Cola. Don't mind if I do. And, cool. I'll take some Mentats, and I'll take, hey, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get some bubble gum. There we go. How do I escape this place? The doors! That's all. Never mind. I can't go through these doors, even though it, I should be able to, because that's what you're supposed to do with doors. Go through them. I wonder if there's anything hard lock. Oh, hey! Oh, but I only have a couple of bobby pins, so I better make this last. Nope. Come on. Okay. Okay, okay. Big money, big money, okay. Not, not much here. Not, not much here. Not much here. Not much, okay. Whoa, okay, what about, what about here? Okay, what about, okay. Okay, I only have a couple more left. Careful. There we go. Okay. So what did we find in here? We find skeleton bones. Bison Steve maintenance key. A cup? I didn't open a hard lock just to get a cup. Let's see, there is a lunch box that I don't need. There's bubble gum. There's small brew books. There's tin cans. I'll take the medics. Oh, cool. I will take Z9 pistol. The medics, the bomb caps, the radex. I don't see that medics. Okay, and open red, huh? Ah, I'm almost full. More locks! Alrighty, I guess I'll take the dirty water. You gotta take what you can get, I guess. Like, I guess since it's the Mojave, you gotta take what you can get. At freaking in New California, you didn't have to do that. Or you, you take what you can get at the hidden... The hidden valley, hidden... Hidden pine house? Yeah. Wait, don't, don't you dare break. There we go. Uh... Baseball, yay! Okay. That uh, sense of special, uh, I don't really need that. Alright, Jen, let's get out of here. Let's go talk to the deputy. We gotta know about the people who shot us in the face. Where's the deputy? It better be somewhere. Oh, did he go back to the place where we originally were? Yes, covered in the bodies of our enemies. Okay. Uh, where are you? Are you him? No, you're the prim representative. Howdy. Okay. Yo! Dude, Deputy Beagle. Well, that was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? 
breaking myself out of a hostage situation. Not to diminish your role in it, of course, but it was quite thrilling. Problem is, there's still no law in Prim. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? Aren't you a deputy? Can you tell me about the man in the checkered suit who came through here? What are you talking about? You're the sheriff now. Oh, no. I'm just a deputy, and I can't be a deputy without a sheriff. It's called chain of command. Then be the sheriff, or the qualifications for a sheriff. It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone who'll settle down and watch over us. Like I heard you. the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience as a sheriff. He may be a good choice. Also, with the NCR so close by, you may be able to get them to take over the town. Not sure why they haven't helped out already. Okay, I'll help bring law and order back to print. You will? That's just marvelous. I'll start thinking up questions for the interview. The sheriff that was incarcerated up at NCRCF may be a good choice. You also may be able to convince that NCR guy across the road to take the town under his wing. Although martial law doesn't sound so fun. Sure. Let's see, anything I can sell? Howdy. Uh, Ruby Nash, are you the bartender? Hello there. What brings you to Prim? Uh, who are you? I'm Ruby Nash. Pleased to make your acquaintance. My husband and I are Prim long timers. I know. But... I mean, that was nice of you. I just, I'm kind of really focused on the quest. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, no. I won't steal. Nope. Not stealing. See? See, guys? I didn't steal. Move what are you betting? Please. Oh, wait, you can bet no. on this? I guess not. I guess it's only for prim residents. Alrighty, guy. Uh, Jonathan Nash. Nope. So I guess you're the guy who... Yeah. I originally was here and I got hired. Looks like everybody's kind of staked out over here. At the... The Keys of Ants. So now what are we doing next? So I guess uh, they went that away, my kind of town. Beagle wants a new uh, sheriff for Prim. He suggests an ex-sheriff at the NCR and the NCR as potential candidates. Let's see. So, what, where, okay, so there's one over here at the NCR Correctional Facility. And there's the California Sunset Drive-In. Huh. Well, we were already there. Wait, what? But I did discover it. I was in the... Oh, okay, I was over here. But I guess he's over here. Hmm. Well, you know what? When we get back, then we'll figure out who we want to be the new sheriff of the town of Prim. Uh, yo, you alright? Oh man. Daniel again. Four of six. Caravan or outfit. Man. Okay. Oh, hey, look. What is it? Is this... Okay, I can't pick that up. Anyway. So, yeah, when we get back, we'll figure out who's going to be the new sheriff. Anyway, thanks for watching. My name's FD. Have a nice day.